Hi everybody and welcome to Simply Scuba. Now, if you think through all of your life choices and add them all up, would you ever have thought that all of those life choices would have led you to watching a video on YouTube about pockets? But to the casual diver, pockets are just pockets. They don't really think too much about thigh pockets or pockets where they're going to store their stuff. Um, they only really become a big deal and a big consideration when you get to a certain level of diver and you're looking at certain bits of kit. So some dry suit manufacturers are specifically noted on the quality of their thigh pockets on their dry suits because when you're diving it's important to keep your stuff to hand and easily accessible. It's not like going for a hike or anything. You can't just strap on a backpack with all your stuff in it and then break it out whenever you need something. You're in a neutral buoyancy environment and you need to bring all sorts of different dive gear down with you. But you don't want it all hanging off a of D-rings because, say it with me, that would be a flappy snag hazard. So when you're looking for new gear, it's important to consider storage and where you're going to uh, sort of put the old bits of equipment because I'm not just going to be talking about thigh pockets I'm going to be mentioning some other storage uh, sort of options you have too so yeah let's take a closer look at well pockets So the first thing is, is where are you going to put your pockets or where you want your pocket to be? So the first one, jacket BCDs. They often have pockets up kind of around your rib cage, but I've never really found these too easy or convenient to actually use. And they can actually take up space and buoyancy if you put things in them. As soon as you put a, a clunky reel or something, your BCD can't inflate as much as if your pocket is empty. So you do need to bear that in mind. Drop down pockets can be fitted uh, or sort of found or fitted to some BCDs um, sort of a little bit lower down towards your hips where a small pocket or a pouch will drop down uh, just sort of over your hip. So it's a bit easier to uh, to reach but they're usually fairly basic and they're usually just like a square pouch with like a zippered opening. So they're kind of the uh, sort of the, the emergency. Most of them are like roll up pockets. Um, so if you do find something underwater that you do need to recover and you can stow it in a pocket, yeah, you just kind of pull a bit of Velcro and then out comes this little pocket. Sticking to the sort of same area, but heading around back, you can find butt pouches, uh, literally butt pouches on, on your butt. So these come from cave divers and side mount divers, but you can still use them for back mounted tanks. Uh, it's quite an easy place to reach naturally, uh, and it's out of the way as well. You're still nice and streamlined, um, but you do need a pair or at least a single attachment point round there to actually clip them off to but yeah these are quite handy you normally put them on some double enders so you can sort of disconnect the entire pouch have a little rummage and then sort of put it away again thigh pockets are uh, are quite convenient to to reach it's kind of naturally where your hand kind of sits when you're diving and uh, and they're nice and out of the way as well from the rest of your gear there's nothing that really happens around your thighs but they're still in your view as well so you can see what you're doing uh, which is why thigh pockets have become so popular nowadays Thigh pockets though, they can be factory fitted to your dry or wet suit. Uh, they can be fitted to a dedicated pair of shorts, and usually called something like a pair of tech shorts um, that you wear over your wet suit or your dry suit. Uh, or you can strap a, um, a thigh pocket to your thigh with straps and clips, uh, and then you clip it to the bottom of your BCD, kind of like a holster. Um, or you can have them a, a thigh pocket fitted to your wetsuit with a dedicated velcro or zipper system or you can just glue it to your wetsuit as well. Thigh pockets are traditionally on the kind of the outside sides of your legs uh, because again that's quite convenient to, uh, to rummage around in uh, but some manufacturers have experimented with front pockets on the front of your thighs um, and that was mainly so that side mounted stage tanks don't kind of get in the way uh, but I haven't really seen this go sort of much outside of one dry suit. 
If you do have thigh pockets, you need to consider how much weight you're going to be putting in them, and really any pockets, to be brutally honest, uh, but mainly thigh pockets because you need to consider how they're supported. Obviously, you're not putting any kind of lead weight in these thigh pockets or anything, but if you're diving with a, a heavy or clunky sort of metal reel or any kind of heavy gear that can uh, sort of weigh and uh, sort of pull those pockets down, um, then if they're unsupported, that thigh pocket is literally just going to be pulling your pants down. That's why a lot of dry suits have suspenders or braces. Um, suspenders means different things in different countries. Um, so the weight of what's going to be in your pockets ends up on your shoulders when you're wearing these braces, uh, and it means that your pants aren't pulled down in the middle of the dive. So the first thing with the pouch itself is how it opens and closes. The two standard methods are Velcro or zipper. So zippered pockets are pretty secure, uh, it's unlikely that they're going to unzip themselves, however they can be tricky to zip back up again one handed, especially when they're fitted to soft materials like neoprene. And if you've got chunky gloves on as well, it can be quite hard to get that zipper to physically move. Velcro, or hook and loop to use the non-brand specific term, is a good alternative. Um, Velcro doesn't open by itself, but it will close by itself, which is quite nice. So if you just let go of it, and uh, it'll sort of naturally seal against itself. It also means that you do have a flap, which is quite useful. A Velcro flap means that you have extra space uh, for an extra little pocket on the outside on top of your pocket for like small little bits like bolt snaps. When you're considering openings, uh, to be honest, you don't really get any kind of choice, to be honest. Um, it just comes with what's fitted to the suit that you like. Um, but do consider where you're diving or what type of gloves you'll be wearing when you're looking at a dry suit and the actual uh, sort of pockets. There's no point in investing in a pocket system that has a small or fiddly little zipper or a, or a little grab handle that you can't get hold of if you are only going to be wearing big, heavy, clunky gloves. Most Velcro tabs will have a section on the outer edge with a chunky piece of bungee cord inside it, um, just something that you can physically grab hold of and pull against, so uh, so look out for something like that, or a really big zipper pull uh, if it's a zippered opening. The wiki definition for a gusset is a gusset is a triangular or rhomboidal piece of fabric inserted into a seam to add breadth or reduce stress from tight fitting clothing. But some pockets have expandable sections, so you can choose to have a flat and neat pocket, or you can unzip uh, or unvelcro a section so that your pocket can expand for greater storage. Now, I had pockets like this on a dry suit once a few years back, and after I unzipped them for the first time, I don't think I ever zip them back up again. The idea is nice so that your pockets can be nice and streamlined, especially when there's nothing in them, and that was the general idea for one training agency at one point in time, to have kind of wing, uh, sorry, one big storage pocket on one side and one small pocket on the other side, but now I just find it better just to have more storage on both sides, and I believe that training agency has actually changed their guidelines so that both pockets are expanded anyway for extra storage. Most pockets don't even give you the choice nowadays, however. Most pocket designs and designers now understand that most divers just unzip them on the first use uh, and then just kind of forget about it because you've got the pocket there, you're gonna use it for extra storage and an extra half inch isn't that much extra drag. Inside the pocket is quite important too. Basic pockets are just an open pouch, usually with a drainage hole or mesh at the bottom, and that's about it. Um, the drainage hole and the mesh, that's just so that uh, the, the pocket doesn't fill up with water, um, so that when you get out, you don't have these huge, heavy pockets full of water. The water just kind of drains out. But these can mean that uh, when you open them up, your gear is kind of all mixed up together if it's just one big open pocket. Um, and nothing is secure inside, so if you open it up, if something falls out of your pocket, it's gone. So the first thing that you want to see inside a good scuba diving thigh pocket or any pocket wherever you're having is a anchor point. 
So D-rings or bungee loops inside of the pockets so that you can clip a bolt snap to something fixed inside. Uh, that way, if you open up the pocket and you're rummaging around, even if something does fall out of your pocket, it's not gonna go very far and you can just shove it back in. Once your stuff is secured inside, it's actually quite nice to be able to organize it a little bit. So inside some pockets, you'll find a separator so you can effectively have one large open section and then one slim section next to it. That way you can separate some of your stuff and keep flat things like slates and notepads uh, flat against your leg. And then larger items like backup masks and spools can be in the larger section so you can start to organize your stuff. In really good pockets, you'll find anchor points inside that little flap uh, sort of pocket too, uh, because that's a handy place for backup bolt snaps and cutting tools and bits and bobs. Uh, but again, you don't want to just open it and that thing just to fall out. So always look for some kind of anchor points. And if it doesn't have them, a lot of divers make them. Other than that, you're just looking at materials and how they're physically attached. Factory installed pockets tend to be the best because the suit will be designed to have the pocket there and it'll probably be stitched into position so it's nice and secure. If they're aftermarket fittings, something that you've done yourself, then you need to check the Velcro or the glue every so often that's attaching the pocket in place to make sure that your whole pocket won't literally just peel off your suit with everything lost inside it. And if that pocket is part of a strap system that kind of clips to the bottom of your BCD, but it's also wrapped around your leg too, then you do need to consider getting in and out of your BCD for things like rib exits and emergencies as well. You've got one extra strap that needs unclipping and undoing, so just bear that in mind when you're choosing a pocket system. And that's about it really. Pockets aren't too complicated, obviously, but it is worth noting what's available so that you don't buy something and then discover something better a few months down the road and now you've got to buy that as well because it's it is better but let me know down in the comments below what you look for in a pocket do you just clip things to a d-ring or do you prefer to go for like tech shorts as well with sort of fancy extra pouches um personally i usually dive with full pockets uh, if i can i tend to bring lots of redundant gear like spare masks and spools and i don't like my dsmb to be just kind of flopping around in the water and uh, just off a d-ring uh, i like to keep it inside a pocket or kind of bungee to a strap so it can't move Anyway, like and subscribe and all that. Uh, don't forget to check out the community tab on the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and of course, safe dive.